welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas to you all. I am on holiday. Woohoo! Um, so I thought I'd come in on and finish the rest of this picture. So when I left you last time, I would put in all of the kind of bars and things. And one of my subscribers liked a little drummer boy. So I put, come they told me pa pa pum pum. I've got Silent Night. I have Jingle Bells and I have Once in Royal David City. And then I put a few kind of music notes on as well. So what we're going to do first of all is um, yeah. we're going to just finish the ornaments first of all. And then I'm going to put um, a gel crayon background. So let's do that. And I've decided because of all the gold. Oh got really bad shadows and I don't know how to get rid of them I might be better right so yeah I'm doing all of these bits for the jewels silver because we've got lots of gold for the um, stars and the bit coming off of the gramophone so I thought I'd do all of these bits silver um, so how is everybody doing so this is just Pentel jewel hybrid that I'm using to do this um, silvery bits. I might do this, um, might add some gold in on this one as well, because I don't really want it to be all the same color. And my Pentel Dual Hybrid is really close to running out. Um, yeah, so how is everybody doing? So close to Christmas now. Um, I might have to get my new one out. Um, I think we finished, pretty much finished our Christmas shopping on Friday and um, we went I had a day off on Friday um, and my daughter still had a half day at school so we went out for breakfast and then we finished the last bit of Christmas shopping while little eyes were not around to see um, so yeah and I've still got I don't know if anyone else experiences that I've got a parcel of, I ordered a couple of books from Amazon Japan which I'm really, really excited about. But unfortunately, Amazon Japan, I've decided to deliver them with DHL Express. And whenever I have ordered anything with DHL Express before, I have had problems. And currently, my parcel has been stuck at the DHL Maidstone Depot since hmm, Wednesday, last week. So I'm beginning to think that I am going to need to go and pick it up like I had to before. But in order to do that, I have to call them. And it's an extortionate amount of money to call them. I might have to just use the other silver. This one really looks as though it's done. In fact, I definitely think that's done. So I'm going to put that one over there. I'm going to use this one. Um, it's an extortionate amount of money to call them. Um, but it might have to be done because I just want my parcel in time for Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's a bit annoying. Still waiting for that to come. Luckily, my dad's present arrived on Friday, so I was able to get my, the rest of my family's presents in the post that Friday. And the parcel arrived yesterday because I sent it with a courier rather than... Um, with Royal Mail because I sent my mum her birthday present last Monday and that hasn't yet arrived and I sent that via first class post I mean I know there's been postal strikes this week but you know I, d I just don't know when that's going to arrive and I sent my best friend's best friend's birthday present as well and um, I don't know when that's going to arrive either so maybe I should have just sent everything by a, by a courier and it would have been so much better oh my setup is so so poopy this way round. I'm going to be glad when the Christmas tree goes back to where it was before. So I can have my setup back to what it was before. Okay, so I've nearly done all the baubles. Um, so is everybody ready for Christmas? We're getting there. We're getting there. We've got a little bit of secret scrolling to do in terms of, you know, getting things wrapped. Um, getting stuff ready. 
uh, but we'll get there. Um, go and see a panto tomorrow night, so that's going to be fun. But we might well need to take our little pussy cat to the vet first. He seems to have got a bit of a funny eye um, that I've noticed today. Like he's, I think cats have something like a third eyelid or something, and I've just noticed that he's kind of. It's kind of a cross a little bit and uh, it just looks a bit weird. And he's kind of holding it, holding it shut a little. So I just want to, I'll see what it's like in the morning. See how he's doing in the morning. And then if it still looks the same, I'm going to take him just to get it checked out. I don't want my little pussycat feeling ill or anything. So... I just want to go and get him checked out. So I think that's that. I'm going to put some white on that one. And I'm going to put some more highlights around. And I'm going to make these gold. These gold. There's lots of gold on this page. And I noticed I didn't paint this bit in. Which was a bit silly. So luckily it's quite a good match. This Pentel Jewel Hybrid. It's quite a good match. Right, so I think that's all of the... Too much everything. Yep. So I think on next I'm going to do the coilating. So I might have to go to uh, the vet tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, we'll see how he's doing in the morning. Um, I don't know what he's done. He's done it before. Where he's had his eyelid go a bit funny. And I can't remember what they said it was before. I think he maybe injured it or something. But I don't want him to get any worse or any sicker. So um, he's, he's all right in himself, to be honest. Um, so he just came for a cuddle. It's raining, so he's really unhappy. He hates the rain. And he likes to go toilet outside. So he has to go and brave the rain when he goes outside to the toilet. And he hates it. Absolutely hates it. It's so funny. He really is a funny pussycat. He wouldn't he wouldn't be any other pussycat. He's my pussycat. And we love him. So that's why I'm like take him to the vet. He hates the vet too. If he goes to the vet tomorrow, he'll hate it. But I wanna know that he's okay, so as any as any pet owner would. That's why you have pets. You love them as you do your family. So yeah. So I have to hope he's okay. I'm sure he's okay. My daughter's making him a get well card. She loves him too. So, right, I think that is everything on the baubles. So now we're going to do the background. So for the background, so that was lots of that was lots of pentel. Oh, hang on, no, we haven't quite finished. That was lots and lots of pentel dual hybrid. Now I just want to use my Sakura Jelly Roll Glaze just to go around the outside of the gramophone here. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so we might have to do that tomorrow, but that's fine. We've got a few things plan for tomorrow yeah just um pantomime we're gonna go out for a walk somewhere i think daughter's not feeling very well so we'll have to see how she's feeling um and i kind of i get a bit like oh i need to get the house ready for christmas kind of thing um yeah i'm just kind of putting the black lines back in um probably shouldn't do them with the with jelly roll glaze but i am so this was going to be black as well. And then I was going to do the bit on the, the record, I think, was going to be black too. And this is going to be black. This just because. So what else has been going? So I had some really good news this week, but I can't share it at the minute. Um, but I will do uh, in a later video. Um, really, really good news for me. Oh, gone over the lines a bit there. We'll cope. Um, 
yeah, so it's been a good week. I broke up from work on Thursday, went out for a lovely Christmas meal with my colleagues. Um, and I got home quite early, I was quite surprised. Um, so that was, broke up from from there. Friday went out with my husband Simon, had breakfast and Christmas shopping, picked Imogen up from work early. And we had a lovely day yesterday. We went out with them. Um, Went out with uh, friends, um, went to Lakeside, which is fun travelling over the bridge, always fun going over Dartford Crossing, um, so that was fun. Yeah, I've just had a nice, nice couple of days. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of Pentel Dual Fibre, a different colour, if I can find the one I want. Yeah, this one. Um, so... And this is kind of another goldy colour, which looks a bit more like a bronze, but I thought that would be alright. Um, yeah, so, it's been nice. We've got a few things planned, so it's tomorrow's pantomime, which is going to be nice. Aladdin. Aladdin is the one we're seeing. Right, that's, that's definitely out now. That's what that looks like, at the bottom. Um, and then, in the background, because I've done ink here, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Because I've done kind of black fine liner, I'm a bit worried that using Distress Ink will cause that to run. So, I'm going to use my silk, Silky TBC crayon. So, I'm just trying to find them in. Here they are. So, there is a goldy one. So, I think... I'm going to use Sunset Yellow and the Cinnamon colour, which I think is that one. Right. So I get my Caran d'Ache thingy bowl. Canary Yellow, I think it's that one, the one I want. And I need to get a brush. So I use a makeup brush to do this. And I just rub it on my palette. Like so. Uh, the cinnamon I don't think I've ever used. Ooh, so let's get this yellow one down first. So I rub it off on here like this. I don't want it too saturated. Oh, it looks as though it's going to go fine on, on top of the ink. So great. Fabulous. That's what I wanted. Um, yeah, so... And then Tuesday I'm going out for a meal with my the ladies from my choir. So that's going to be nice. That's a proper Christmas. Having a turkey and I think I'm having white chocolate and raspberry bread and butter pudding for afterwards. I'm not a big Christmas pudding lover so that suited me down to the ground um, to have... Especially white chocolate. White chocolate is my favourite in the world. Um, it's actually all of our favourites in this house. My husband loves white chocolate. My daughter loves white chocolate. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a scramble, to be honest, when it comes to uh, white chocolate. Um, you know, Lind Lindor is our is our is our chocolate of choice for. for oh, that's interesting. The. Uh, watercolour paint that I use it looks as though it might need a little bit and it might need another coat and I probably won't do that on camera but I will I probably will do it okay so that's the first one oh, or I could just go see if I can find it just in some places it just looks a bit more looks a bit different Let's have a look and see if that will make it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. It looks as though it's come off. I don't know, I can't really tell. Does it look as though it's come off? See, when you shine it up to the light like that, it doesn't look as though it's come off. But then when you look at it in some places, it does. 
It's really weird. Can't really tell what to do or not to do. Maybe I should have just done it in um, Pentel all the way around. I don't know. I might, I might do another coat on it, yeah? I can't decide. Right, so that was that one. And then I'm just going to darken up the edges a little bit with this like tanny kind of colour. So when I do this with Distress Ink, it's normally straw and vintage photo that I use. And I was just going to do these edges of the pages. Because then I'm going to go put some glitter on. And it kind of gives it that, um, looks like a bit like um, that old kind of paper that you might get. You know, the old brown kind of parchment paper. I think that might be what it's called. I don't know, really. I don't know. Anyway, I, li I quite like the look, is what I'm saying. So I think I'm definitely going to go over the watercolour again, but I won't do that on camera. But just so you know, sometimes the watercolour does need two, two kind of coats on it. Um, especially if it's not watercolour paper. So, yeah, I might well, I might well do that. I've got a lot of exercise to it this. So that's that's kind of that. I might do a little bit more of that one. I really like these silky crayons. I used my um I used my gelatos earlier today on another page. And I have to say, I, re I think I actually prefer these a bit better. I mean, with ge the, with the gelatos, is the ones I've got there are kind of like a an iridescent um, set, so they've got a bit of sparkle, which is quite nice. Um, but I've got something like I can't remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I think I've got thirty six in this silky crayon set, so you get a really good choice of colour. Um, so I quite like that. I might just put a really, really dark brown on the edge. So this is a really much darker brown. And I just want to put that right on the corner. And they blend really nicely as well, as you can see. And you can build the layers up and it still looks all right. Doesn't look, you know, horrible. So, yeah. Okay. I do with that is clean it off with water and it's done so now I'm getting some cosmic shimmer sparkle texture paste and this is in warm gold and I am just going to apply this with my finger it's quite um, kind of like a really yeah definitely the thing to do with your finger I think and I'm just going to apply it all over this lovely, shimmery, silky crayon background. Probably not going to go over the the music notes, the kind of tuny bits. Um, but over the music notes, I don't mind doing it. I told you I was going to go overboard with the glitter, didn't I? <laughs> I went overboard a bit with the glitter earlier as well. Had fun with some Deco Art Galaxy glitter in Clear Comet. It was lovely. Really had a good time. I've used it quite a lot today as well, so I used it on another page too. Um, so yeah. So it is like, it does have a texture to it, but I quite like that. Um, and um, yeah, it just looks, 
hope it's going to look quite nice. But yeah, this is a really nice warm gold colour. Really, really lovely. Oh, it dries quite quickly as well. And it doesn't get too trapped on your fingers, because I've noticed some of the things really do get trapped on your fingers. There we go. I think I maybe have gone a bit overboard. Who knows? There we go. That is my sparkly page for Christmas. So yes, I I at the moment can't quite decide whether to go back over that gold in the middle. I'm going to see how it looks in the morning and make a decision then. But that is essentially my finished gramophone page for Christmas so thank you for watching and following along I hope I've given you some ideas of your own um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the new year or at the end of the month for completed pages in December lots of love bye